South of Sudan has a lot for me to tell. When we hear about Sudan, what comes in mind first is on its war, people killing each other. But um, that's not the reality, that's not true. South Sudan is a very Christian uh, a country, a country that has been for 30 years uh, being oppressed. There was a time when there were no priests, no bishops left, everybody had gone into exile. The churches are destroyed, the houses are destroyed, the parish is a ruin, but the people kept on maintaining their faith thanks to the different Catholic fraternities. We have the beauty of the country, we have good rain, we have good land, good soil, but the people, they don't know. This skill, farming skill, has been denied because of war. Evangelization does not only mean to call people the church, to preach to them, but showing them practical ways of life. Jesus was, was praying and was doing things with his hands, was feeding and was curing. But sometimes we forget, we priests, we forget. We are called not only to say the Mass. It's very important, uh, if I'm a priest and I don't know how to plant the tree, I don't know how to wash the cup, I don't know how to cook, then I'm a useless priest. Because the mission is not only, only preaching, saying Jesus wants us to love one another now. What we preach, we try to do it in a practical way. So I started with the vegetable farm and uh, the first season I planted groundnuts. I harvested 25 bags of groundnuts. It was amazing. And when they are a lot, I could give to the people. Now the pineapple project is doing very well. My dream is to make each and every station to have at least one borehole. I've managed to drill eight boreholes for the remotest community. They are inside the forest where people they have never ever seen clean water in the glass. People only used to drink mud. It has taken over 90,000 US dollar. It is not easy. What normally breaks my heart when I see the needs of my people. Sometimes it makes me completely broken. The people whom I am preaching, they are sick people. And they'll come, they tell me, Father, we are sick people. We are dying. So when I stand at the altar, I must tell them we must change our way of life, the way we live. If we accept to live with one another, then the development will start to come. No one will come to invest in a hostile country where people are not living with one another. We have nothing, no roads, no good health care, no schools. Education in Southern Sudan is not well cared. People to fund education, they are very, very few. So many non-government organizations, they are putting themselves in a humanitarian, you find themselves, they are putting themselves in HIV, but education, where even you can teach the children about the HIV, it is not be cared. So in Ave Maria, I have one kindergarten with 25 to 30 children. In St. Thomas, that there, I have 100 children. I see this is a part of giving life to the people. This is only the seed we have planted and it will grow. It will grow huge and it will give a shelter to many people. Every strong house always starts with the foundation. I'm very proud because we have put our foot on the ground. They are trying to fix the fence in order to have good security. We want to protect this, this school for the children. Come and you see the things that are being done, you might think there are a thousand people are there. But when we meet at the table, we are a family of few. Doing good is always universal. Does not mind whether you do it in your country, in a foreign country. It's that heart of giving, but from the bottom of your heart. You don't give because you have so much to give. 
you give without any strings attached come and see how people are living you will not even realize when you are giving yourself to another person you find it's it comes automatic when i came the first time to africa i really fell in love with the people and with the country many people are called but few are chosen come and experience come and see the joy of the missionary life the life of giving the moment of holy eucharistic celebration people they don't hide their joy like during the easter you feel he has risen we are there to express the joy because we know that moment christ is the center christ is the center because the mission we are doing is not our own mission is the mission of christ we are taking care of people of god because if we have that then we have conquered the world